that Articles 2 through 9 relate to proposed uh, amendments to our planning and zoning ordinance. And um, we have Articles 2 through 9 in that respect. And I'd entertain a motion to address Articles 2 through 9 as a group. So Moved by Mr. Jones. Do I have a second? Seconded by Mr. McMahon. All those in favor in addressing Articles 2 through 9 as a group? Down hands. Any opposed? Um, I'd next entertain a motion to waive the reading in their entirety of Articles 2 through 9 due to their length. A motion, Mr. Jones. Do I have a second on that? Seconded by Mr. Griffin. All those in favor of waiving the reading of Articles 2 through 9? Down cards. Any opposed? At this time, I'd like to re uh, recognize our town planner, Jason Bashan, to uh, address, to review for us uh, Articles 2 through 9. And I'm going to ask Jason to do that as a group. And if we have questions or if you'd like to make commentary about any of these um, proposed uh, articles, if you could wait until after he's done. And then um, we'll, we'll take up any interest in these um, Articles 2 through 9. They cannot be amended, but they certainly can be discussed and debated. So, Jason. Okay, thank you very much. Good morning, everybody. Um, just before I begin uh, going through articles two through nine, I'd just like to note that the full text of the proposed zoning articles are out in the outside the auditorium on poster boards. They are also available on the town's website or at town hall. They're on file with the town clerk's office, and we have them in the planning office as well. Um, so what I'm going to do this morning is just give a brief uh, overview and purpose of each, and uh, then we can entertain any questions. Um, so first to Article 2 in the slideshow. Okay, the purpose of Article 2 is to clarify and improve the existing language regarding non-conforming uses. Um, as an overview, Zoning Ordinance Section 1.2 pertains to the reconstruction of non-conforming uses, while Section 1.3 covers the expansion, alteration, and abandonment of non-conforming uses. The proposed amendment does not change the intent of the ordinance, but simply makes it easier to follow. So it's a housekeeping amendment, essentially. Article 3, the purpose of this article is to modify the definition of use change. As an overview, the current and proposed uses, if the current and proposed uses are dissimilar, i.e. enumerated differently in the use regulations, the planning board approval would be required in all such cases. For example, a change from a professional office to a two-family dwelling would require a change of use approval from the planning board under this uh, amendment article. Um, the revised definition also identifies the change of use approval requirements for the town center district, which were adopted last year, and clarifies that use changes are also subject to site plan and subdivision approval when applicable. Article 4. Um, articles 4 through 6 are wetland conservation district amendments, um, just so you know that. Uh, the purpose of Article 4 is to revise and update the purpose section and inland wetland definitions. Um, as an overview, the proposal includes vernal pools in the purpose section as an area protected by the Wetland Conservation District. It also updates the inland wetland definition to include examples of qualifying wetlands. Article 5. Okay, Article 5. Hopefully I can cut off a bit there. Um, the purpose of Article 5 is to create a 100-foot buffer for a select list of first, first through fourth order rivers and streams, these being Ashbrook, Drake's River, Little River, Nihilus Brook, Old River, Taylor River, and Winnicott River. As an overview, the proposal involves the creation of a 100-foot tiered buffer with three components, vegetation, fertilizer use, and development. And the tiers are identified in the table below. It's a little difficult to see here. Um, I can see a little bit on that. Um, anyway, there's a, a vegetated buffer strip in the first, no-cut zone, the first 25 feet. Um, a limited cut area from 25 to 75 feet, no structures are allowed in the first 75 feet, and no fertilizer allowed in the first 75 feet, and limited fertilizer use in the 75 to 100 foot area of that buffer. Um, article 6. Okay, the purpose of Article 6 is to better define the intent of the contiguous buildable area outside of the Wetland Conservation District for newly created lots existing lots of record or lots increasing the number of dwelling units. As an overview, the proposal clarifies that all proposed development must be contained within a contiguous buildable area and not result in any permanent adverse impacts to the Wetland Conservation District. Article 7, 
again, looks like we got cut off a bit there. Um, this pertains to our aquifer protection district. And the purpose is to strengthen the town's aquifer protection district ordinance. The proposal includes the addition of three new definitions, provides opportunities for greater involvement by the Aquarian Water Company, includes modifications to the associated use regulations as they pertain to site drainage, such as low impact development and pretreatment measures, prohibited uses such as subsurface storage for petroleum and refined petroleum, junk and salvage yards, and activity within 400 feet of a public drinking water supply well as provided per DES. Conditional uses being residential subdivisions creating additional building lots and providing for monitoring well installation and written statements of compliance for conditional uses. And non-conforming uses uh, provide for discontinuance where a direct hazard to the aquifer is identified. And there's also a, other general codification and consistency changes within that amendment. Article 8. So Article 8 and 9, the last two, are actually housekeeping changes as well. Um, the purpose of Article 8 is to cross -reference, pr provide cross-referencing for use regulations located in other sections of the zoning ordinance. And as an overview, not all of the use regulations are located under Article 3. The use regulations for the Wetland Conservation District, Aquifer Protection District, Professional Office Residential District, Town Center District, and Transportation Corridor Overlay District are found elsewhere in the ordinance. Expanding the notes section will make the ordinance more user-friendly and reduce the possibility of requirements being overlooked through the cross-referencing. And finally, Article 9. Article 9, uh, the purpose is to make the regulations involving elderly housing more user-friendly. The proposal is to relocate the use code table from Article 15, where it currently exists, to Article 3, by establishing a new section, that being 3.48. New changes to the table, or no changes to the table are proposed. New section 3.48 also identifies types of elderly housing per existing definitions, which are in 1.6 of the ordinance. And the introductory language of Article 15 is slightly modified for clarification and cross-referencing purposes. So those are our proposed zoning articles for this year. Um, if anybody has any questions on those, I will entertain those at this time. Jason, just a quick question. Excuse me, excuse me. Could you come to the microphone so that we can capture your comments? Thank you, Jason. Um, just a quick question. Could you say a little bit more about the Aquarian Water Department and their increased involvement? I got to get you to state your name and address, please. Carolyn Fetters, 206 Woodland Road. Forgot from okay. last year. And your question? <laughs> uh, my question is, could you say a little bit more about the increased involvement of the Aquarian Water Company in one of the Certainly. articles? Thanks. Certainly. Jason, okay. which article is that? That, so that? that would be Article 7. Okay. And just to incorporate some of the comments there. Um, so, so basically, in Article 7, we added uh, a few items which expand their uh, involvement in the, uh, and I just want to turn so I have it for you. So basically, if the zone is incorrectly designated, for example, in the Aquifer Protection District, um, a review by Aquarian or its successor with a recommendation to be provided by the Planning Board would be permitted now. So in determining whether a property may or not be in the aquifer protection district, if there's some dispute there, it allows their involvement to participate in, in that, making that determination. Um, also, we do now require notice, a butter's notice to Aquarian for any, uh, any um, project requiring a public hearing, application of the planning board requiring a public hearing for anywhere within the aquifer protection district. Previously, it was only for conditional uses. Now it's for any application within the aquifer protection district. Um, they would also be involved if, if a project, a conditional use permit were required and uh, monitoring well installation were to be part of that, they would be involved with that process as well. Um, so that's, so basically it expands their involvement. They have additional oversight into uh, into uh, what's going on within the district and it, it makes the regulation stronger. All right, thank you, Jason. Does anyone else have any questions regarding articles two through nine? <coughs> Seeing none, we'll move on to article 10. Articles two through nine will appear on the ballot as printed. Thank you, Jason.